Abuse is generally taken to mean misuse or mistreatment. Imagine a guy who is a boss of someone and makes that someone to work extra unpaid hours or makes people do his share of work. People would say that's abuse. Spanking a child who kicked a ball inside a house and broke something when parents explicitly said not that to be done wouldn't be abuse. But using excessive force, for example, slamming the kid's head against the wall, would be. Parents grounding a child who shoplifted wouldn't count as abuse to people, but grounding a child sadistically or maliciously would be. So on and so forth. As we can see, there are few things which count as abuse. Mistreatment, misuse, sadism, maliciousness, etc. Vegans believe that artificial insemination or slaughter of animals for stuff is abuse, but that belief is based on their ideology, which the majority of people don't share. But here is what's really interesting about the whole abuse thing. Let's say a vegan kills an animal for food in order to survive. According to probably majority of vegans, that's morally fine. That tells us there are instances where abuse is morally fine, which doesn't sound right. Or it tells us that killing innocent animals to use them as means of our survival isn't abusive towards animals, which doesn't sound right if we take seriously what vegans tell us about animals. That's not all. There are vegans who would sacrifice and harm few for many animals. There are vegans who sterilize their pets for some ideological reason. Animals are displaced or harm or die every day so vegans could live and enjoy their lives, so on and so forth. If exploiting and harming animals for some benefit of others isn't abusive, then vegans are shooting themselves in the foot. That's why I always find it funny when vegans address others as abusers it might actually be the case that they themselves are abusers and that veganism allows abuse.